everyone. Welcome to our Christmas chit chat drawing and art special. Now, if you're watching it, can you please just send a message to say you can see because we've had a bit of technical problems. And so I'd love to know if you're there and it's working. Otherwise, I'll be talking to no one. Anyway, so we haven't had the art class for a bit because it was like, um, you know, Christmas, people could go out. But this is a Christmas special. And I've spoken to Dan at Isolation Station, and I think maybe we'll be doing something again, maybe in January, because down here, oh, you can, oh, brilliant, someone can see. Oh, brilliant. You can draw, Namraj, you can. Debbie, hi. Oh, they're all there. That's marvellous. Oh, brilliant. Everyone can see. That's marvellous. So there's going to be a bit different this week. Oh, hi, Jennifer. So, oh, hello, Annette. Merry Christmas. So this week, though, it's going to be a bit different because I've got three guests who were, who've were who done it previously. So I thought that could be like a Christmas special. So it's going to be a bit like the Graham Norton show. I'm going to talk to one at a time and then they're all going to come on together. But it's going to be mayhem because they're all my friends. I've known them for a very long time and I don't know which one of us is the biggest chatterbox. But anyway, you won't mind, will you? Just be a Christmas chit chat. And trying to keep things jolly because everything's so miserable. We've got to bring a bit of happiness and joy to the world. And um, so my guests today are Princess Julia, Les Child and Eve Ferret. And they all know each other as well and known each other for years. So it'll be fine. So I've got a bit of advice because you might not know. You can draw any one of us, whoever you fancy, or draw us all. So maybe you might want to take a screenshot because they'll only be on for about 10 feet. So say you want to do Julie and you, she's got a beautiful outfit on. So maybe take a screenshot. So when she's not on screen, you can still carry on drawing and listening. Because I'd love to see some lovely festive pictures. So do, if you can, do the pictures really bright and colourful. I just kicked the computer, sorry. Do the pictures really bright and colourful. Sort of a Christmassy feeling, if you could. Look, I, think I tried to put in this poncietta, but... I don't really know where to put it, but anyway, it's there. That's my festive feeling. So, might as well get ahead, because I know that we're gonna have a lot to say. Oh, of course, you can ask questions as well. So if you put them in the comments, they come up and I'll ask our star guests. So, let me introduce you to you, Princess Julia. Mm -hmm. Hooray, hello. Hi, Julia. Hi, hello. Oh, beautiful outfit. Happy festive time of the year. I know. Oh, where's that top from? It's lovely. <laughs> where's your top from? Um, I'm wearing, today I'm wearing Max Allen frock. Who? Obviously. Oh, Max Allen. One of my favourite designers. Oh, that's, is it a dress? So you're, um, you're breaking up a little bit. Is it a dress? I can't really hear you. Oh, hang on. I'm sure Dad, the sound issue will resume. Now, is it back now? Oh, yeah, coming. Oh, can you hear me? No. Not Dad, quite. I'm shouting out to Dan. Anything you can do? Oh, my, he's, he's muted my mic. So he won't oh, hear no. anything. Dan. Oh, how are you on your back? Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Okay. Well done. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. I think it's going to be a lot of this tonight, poor viewers. But so, that's the Max Allen's. Is it a whole dress? It's a whole dress. It's lovely. It's, it's very got a festive. beautiful bell puff sleeve. Oh, yeah. And I'm cool. sitting in front of a John Mabry painting. Oh, good old John Mabry. Oh. And um, um, I, I'm going to, like, duck out of the way a bit. Look. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. That's the mood of Christmas, isn't it, at the moment? Yeah, it is. Not it's not really. A... It's, but trying to be cheerful. Yeah. So what's your Christmas plans you've got in there? Um, well, no, not really. I'm going um, to the doctor's tomorrow for a blood pressure t uh, check. Oh, exciting. <laughs> And no, it's really exciting. Oh, well, I've I renewed my blood pressure pills uh, prescription today. Oh, there you go. 
anyway, with the old so, lazy um, teacher. I haven't really got any plans. I think everything's mm. sort of winding down now. Yeah. But um, over the last month, um, I've been very lucky to get some work. Oh, what you doing? I, I was in um, a, a, a featured artist in a Wolf Alice video, which is coming up soon in and January. I believe February. you filmed that in Hastings, didn't you? We filmed it at um, uh, Pets Level. Yeah. Which isn't no. too far. Will it get in the charts, do you think? Um, I imagine so. Oh, good, because I don't know much about the charts anymore. What I love at Christmas... <laughs> Is watching the top 20 countdown and thinking, I don't know any of these songs. But anyway, oh. <laughs> and I used to be thrilled about Christmas Top of the Pops, but it's not the same anymore because I don't know the songs. Oh, but, so... I remember always the same chair at my mum and dad's house that I could lean right back there and look around the corner and see the telly. Oh, oh yeah, but it's not the same. Now. If you've well... got Christmas tree up, sorry. You got Christmas tree? No, I don't have a Christmas tree. In fact, I'm not a very Christmassy person at all. No. I have been threatening to get a Christmas tree, but decided not to get one. Oh, my my lodger, my lodger Josh Quinton, as some of you might know. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't he like a Christmas tree? I don't think he really is that. Oh, bothered. I thought he's someone who likes one. Let yeah. me have a look. Let me just turn this round, and you might be able to see my Christmas tree. Oh. Can you see? Yeah, I can see a bit of it. Yeah, lovely. In my Christmas tree. Yeah, lovely. Oh, I've knocked myself out now. <laughs> oh, what have I done? I've knocked myself out. Hang on. Come back. Oh, I'm not. Oh. oh, no. Hang on. I'm almost in. <laughs> So are you just there on your own? So yesterday I'm here on my own. But I am in oh, touch with people. Just chat away. I'll be there. Okay, so um um so last month, yeah, it was kind of relaxed, wasn't it? This whole lock in lockdown business. So um I also did um a little had a little role in a video for a uh, a newcomer to the pop scene, a girl called Celeste. I don't know if anyone have, have, has um, heard of her. She's really fantastic. And I really recommend going to listen to her work. It's lovely. Um, that was really good fun. And, um, oh, God, I might sound a bit name-droppy now if I go on about it, but Mel C was in it. And... Our favourite, Jamie Winstone. So that's a treat. That will be coming up at some some point um, in the new year, I'd imagine. Um, quite often, um, I actually do join in Sue's life drawing classes. Okay, I'm um, back. I'm not always there at the beginning. Yeah. The live feed, so am I? I, so, I sometimes you always do one after. 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 Yeah, but I was talking to you about Celeste, but I forgot I wasn't here. I saw her on telly last night on the Sports Personality of the Awards year, which yeah. is a not program. And I thought, what a marvelous woman! So I looked her up and I read all her business. Can you hear um, me? No, I can't really hear you, so. Oh, Dan, so Dan, what can we do? And I'll do a pose. Yeah, you do a pose. That's beautiful for people to draw. Um, in, in the um, uh, late 70s, early 80s, I did used to do life modelling. Oh, did you? Apologies. <laughs> can you hear me at all still? And I had an alias name. Um, I went by the name of Sylvia Tring. Oh, but she can't hear me. I can't hear you, so. How can 
can I tell Adele? I'm hoping that um, your voice will come back very shortly. Can you hear it now? Yeah, I can hear you, but you sound like a Dalek. Do <laughs> I sound like a Dalek? But people watching, can you hear properly or is it just a nightmare? People watching, can you hear? So sorry, Sue. I can't, I can't understand. Oh, okay. I want um, someone to send a message no, to me from the, the public. Hold on. Say something, Sue. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. We are back. Oh, good. Per oh, yeah. right. Can now, I need a message from someone watching telling me they can hear. So, Dan, if you get one, can you put it up, please? Thanks. Right. Now, where were we? So, you were, Celeste, you were talking about Celeste. Oh, yes. I was talking about um, a, a pop star of now, Celeste. And she, you know, I found all her business out last night. She goes out with a young, handsome model who's also a poet. Oh, really? Yes. I know He's that. younger than her. Yes. And he used to be a drug addict and he had to go to Thailand to get cleaned up. I read it all. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, go yeah. go you've got all the gossip straight away. Oh, I'm up with I the kids. That. Um, it was a bit. She's gorgeous, Sue. Pardon? She's gorgeous. She looks it, yeah. She is really gorgeous. Oh, I remember years ago, you came to my auntie's house one Christmas and shocked my poor mum's cousin. She had thigh length paint and boots on and a muslin baby doll outfit. <laughs> but it was the time, it must have been about 1985 when Live Aid came out and all my family was playing Christmas songs. And you went, Oh, this is what Christmas is like. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very Christmassy, Sue, as you realise. And I do remember that incident very well. Yeah. Actually. Um, and I think we'd been out all night. Yes. So I actually didn't bother going home to get changed. No, we weren't well. <laughs> so I that was and I mean, you chased my little brother. My brother was only about 11 then. You chased him under the table. <laughs> That's why he turned out I, I remember it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember it really well. It's a lasting impression. And your family were all so gorgeous and sweet. I know. You were just trolloping around in those patent thigh high boots. A baby doll dress, and, a and I'm a bit sad. This is the last. This is the first year I won't see any of my family. Oh no! I know because they all used to live really nearby. We used to live in about an hour of each other, and yeah. now they go from Scotland to Cornwall. Oh no! I'd come down and visit you myself. When honest, no one can go anywhere, can we? I know. Oh well, make the best of it. I say. Um, what else you got planned? Anything else exciting? Um, I have got something planned in the new year, actually. I'm hoping that it's going to happen. It's a group show, an art exhibition. Um, um, I, I don't know if I can say much more than that at the moment. Yeah. But um, I'm very excited about it. Pam Hogg's in it, too. Oh, marvellous. And oh, also good. Maggie Hamling's in it, too. Oh, that's fantastic. And, uh, and Yoko Brown is in it, too. Who's Yoko Brown? She's married to an artist called Don Brown. Oh, I've heard of him. Yeah. They Yoko Ono. No. <laughs> you never know, do you? She's not in the same age. No one knows anything. <laughs> right. Have you had your tea yet, Julia? I love asking. <laughs> um, no, I haven't actually. Oh, what are you going to have? A light lunch. What are you having for your tea when you have it? Um... Probably some vegetables thrown in the oven. Oh, nice. Roasted vegetables thrown with some hummus. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. What? There you go. Oh, now I the man that the chatter has died. Oh, well. Okay. So, are you there, Dan, or has your battery died? Have we got to wait for you to swap around? <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Everything's in disarray. We've all gone mad today. Oh, my God. Oh, oh I think we're oh. changing. Bye, Julia. I think I'm changing to Liz now. Sorry about that. I, you may all admire that marvellous link. So I swap one to the other. Hi, Liz. How are you? Hello, Sue. I'm very well, thank you. Now, Liz. Not very festive either, but... 
Doesn't matter. Have you had your tea, Les? No, I haven't actually. What are you gonna have? Have you had your lunch though? Um what did I have what did I have today? I had pita bread with um oh my god. Do you know I can't remember? Hummus, maybe? No. No. What's in it? What was in it? I really oh, can't I remember. Was... Job, Ian. Um what was in the bloody pita bread? I can't remember, so wait a minute, wait a minute. Bit of cheese, I think. Oh. I've got to cut down eating, girl. I mean, the lockdown look, you know, I can't get into any of my clothes. That's why I'm not wearing anything colourful. But you look lovely always, Les. Thank you. See, I think when you get a little tiny bit older, a bit of flesh on the face does well. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. I'm not into the scraggy. As, as I always, I may reiterate, um, a story, probably Kathleen Deneuve said, it's either your face or your arse. Yeah. As you go older. I think I'd rather lose the arse, girl, and keep the eek. Don't you think? Yeah, your eek's lovely anyway. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, what have you done? You've been working quite a bit, haven't you? So what have you done? Oh, wait, no, tell us about the chat you did about Michael Clark going on at the, what's it? I mean, Michael Clark's got a huge, well, an ex exhibition of his work at the Barbican, mm. where it's open, which has suffered um, because oh, of... the part of the Michael Clark company in its heyday, weren't you? Yes, I was, a long time ago. But it was lovely to see him. It really, really was. And he was in good spirits. And um, we just went around the gallery and I asked him questions. We shared a lot of... Um, stories, it was really good. And I was really um, pleased with his results. So there was a kind of intimacy intimacy there, which oh, was nice. nice. Mm. So I'm I did that. Work. Yeah, I did, um, I've been quite busy doing various jobs. I've been up for stage of one job I couldn't do because I actually knew my passport. I had to go to Rome um, last week. It was like in a couple of days to do a Valentino shoot. What, last week? Yeah, but oh, my passport was expired. And I couldn't get it renewed on fast track. It was just too, you know, manic. So I had to let that go, which was a pity because I needed the money and the money was pretty good. <laughs> you might but, be um, in Rome forever, never allowed to come back to the country. <laughs> true. Especially with, you know, what's going on. It's a bit weird, but... Yeah. You're going to ask me any questions. What do you do? What do I do? Is, do you want me to just wrap it on? Yeah, I'll ask you some questions. I can't ask me questions, sir. Right, Les. Um, what other jobs have you done recently? Um, recently, I did two jobs for Burberry. Now I'm name dropping. It sounds name dropping. No, your job is people are interested. Tell us about um, it. Well, I worked with Burberry. Did two jobs for them. I worked with them last week. Did a really good um, shoot with a brilliant makeup artist called. Is a mayor French, yeah. which is really brilliant. I did um, I did a job, another job with a, um, a campaign for a company French company called Well Done with Katie Grand. Now it sounds all name dropping, but yes, it's it's but been. You can't say I had a job in the spa, or I had a job in Budgeons because she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's been. It's kept me off the streets and I've managed to burn up a couple of calories. I was going to the gym before it closed, but that's pointless. And um, I'm just trying to maintain my weight, which is really, really difficult. I find it very easy. I just put more and more food in my mouth. <laughs> I know, girl. <laughs> I know. But I have to say, I've given up sugar for about six weeks. But then I was some for Christmas and it was there and I'm afraid I had to eat the sweets. Mm, mm. But I went to the shops today and I thought about buying some sweets and I didn't. So I felt really proud of myself. Oh, good for you, girl. You're cracking up again, Liz. I'm sorry, it's said good for you. It's not an easy thing. Dan. Can you hear me? No. Dan. Dan. Again, just chat again. Hello. Hello, Hello can you hear me? One, two, three. Like One, two, three. Hello. Oh, you're back, you're back. Hello. I do apologize to our viewers if we've got any left. <laughs> <laughs> Poor things must be suffering. <laughs> I know. I'm okay, Dan. Sorry. 
the other day, there's a very there's two Dans. And the other one sends me a message to see if I'm all right. We manage Dan, don't worry. It'll be all right on the night. So, what are you doing for Christmas? I'm actually um I was going to a friend, then we cancelled, but now I'm going back. Do you like to say the friend's name? I know you don't. No, like I don't think no, it's name dropping. No. It's a very I'll good say. close close friend, and we spend it together because he's stranded in this country. Don't you dare! He's stranded yeah. in the country, but we are in each other's um, social bubble, yeah. and um, I'm really looking forward to it, actually. We spoke today on FaceTime, and thought, yeah, just go over there. And, you know, he's got he's got lots of goody food and stuff. And I haven't, but I haven't got a gift. I haven't got a gift. I didn't get it together. I'll, I'll go now then. Yeah, I'm going now. I'll so, Rick, I know I can't spend. I can't. The idea of spending on my own is, I can't. I can't actually. It's too dismal, too depressing. I know. Cause you I've never know. spent Christmas on my own. I think probably once for half a day. Yeah. Usually with my family, which is huge, and you know, something I'm else. But always with people. Won't they? Mm? Your, your massive family will miss you in Birmingham. They will. Yeah. The oh, yeah. Too. David Daniel Wilkie, he's got a question for you. What are your biggest hopes for 2021? Good question. Um, get into myself a little bit more, you know, self-management. I've just sort of let myself go, I feel, a little bit. Everyone has. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm just still loving all the surprises that life brings. Um, you know, I just get on with it. And fortunately, the angels guide me in the right direction. It's been quite amazing. I know. That's what I was thinking. I never I never plan anything or make New Year's resolutions. Things just happen. Mm. I mean, the last time I made New Year's resolutions was about 10 years ago. And one was to drink more wine. What? Was to those ladies who gets in from work and has a glass of wine. Yes. No, not a good I've never, habit. Never in my life done that. So that one didn't work. And the other one was to buy something from QVC, and I still haven't done that either. Have you? I was addicted to that. Never. never. I used to be addicted mm -hmm. to that channel late at night. Oh. Don't get my head. Bought rubbish. The amount of stuff I bought when that came out. Oh. Long time ago. No. I think we've just got to wait for next year to see what happens, don't we? Exactly. With this madness, who can say? Because you never thought this would happen, what happened Saturday. That was so weird. But I know it's awful, but at the same time, I quite like it because it's so weird. Do you? No, I'm getting bored with it now, so too. I'm really getting bored with it. It's just a head fuck, you know. Where are you? I can't hear you. I wasn't speaking, that's why. Oh, okay. <laughs> For once. Oh, the local news are very happy because they're always obsessed with Folkestone and the lorries getting stuck. They've obsessed, been obsessed with it for several years, and finally the lorries are stuck. Oh, half an hour program devoted to the lorries at Folkestone. They love it. Is that near you then, Fort Folkestone? Yes, yeah, about an hour away, I suppose. Okay. But that's the local news. They cover that area. You know, it's Kent and mm, Sussex, yeah. I think. Um, what else? Have we... Any more questions for Les from any of our happy viewers? How many of the people there, though? Oh, here we are. Go on the road trip. Oh. When we're put together, where would you each we like to go? Why don't you to get a, a little heart? What was that last thing? It's hard to imagine it now, but where would you like to go on a road trip? Oh, ideally, I would love it, you know, the States, the Americas, you know, where you see all like the drive. Hmm? Yeah. In a car. I like the idea. I would never do it because I'm scared of coming across hillbillies and all sorts. <laughs> but, um, I really do love that idea of doing that road trip from all over, from like LA all through, um, you know, Kansas. Oh, the whole trip, the whole thing. I'd like to do that. And I'd also like to go to Belize for some unknown reason. Really? It's very violent. It's one of the most roughest oh, violent places in the world. Yeah. Lots of drugs. Oh, maybe I don't want to go. There. No, I don't. I don't think so. Let's go on a road trip across America in a yeah. casino. And yeah, stop them little Louise thing. Yeah, and you stop at little petrol stations with a little shop, and that's <laughs> and in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'd be lynched, girl. I just don't think it worked somehow. I'd look after you, Les. Thank you. 
I've seen no. too many films. What else, girl? Any other questions? What have you? Oh, here. Oh, we all know that is, don't we? How oh, good would you most like to speak to again and would you choose to do it together? Good question. I think we know the same answer. Who, Miss Barry? Oh, yeah, of course, that's mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you got yeah. something? Yes, because there's a clip of him in Michael Clark's um, film, the one that's on the um, Barbican Link, which had him in stitches with David Hola. Yeah. And David can't get word in edgewise, of course, just killing himself laughing. And Lee was really on form with the questions. Um, with the Muriel girl from The Tube. Remember The Tube? Muriel Gray, yeah. The Muriel, yeah. <laughs> it made me laugh so much. Yeah, and he's missed. Oh, I know. Anyone else you'd really love to bring back and have a chat with? What, me? Yeah. Um, my father. Oh. It's been a long, long time. Once 89, he went 1989. But the weird, interesting thing is I'm closer to him now that he's dead than I ever was when he's younger. And I think about him a lot. He used to come to me in dreams. And then one dream he came back and said he's not going to visit me anymore. And I was really upset, which he hasn't. But I'd really like to reconnect with Father because he was really brilliant, quite brilliant. Yeah. Aww. I know. Cheery yeah. topics. Yeah, Any cheery. other more jolly questions on a cheerier note? Yeah, I think we need to cheer this thing up, girl. Yeah. What's your favourite record of the year? I bet you don't even know anything. I don't. I do. I know loads. I buy lots that I hear on the radio, but I do my own little playlists. Um, I quite like Dua Lipa. Hmm? I quite like Dua Lipa. Her Who's Dua Lipa? Oh, yeah, I love her. Yeah. yeah. And she, yes. She's got a bit of a pretty Patel, Patel voice, and she doesn't finish off her words when she sings. I, I love her. I love it. Is she British? Yeah, but I think she's... Okay. Some sort of Iranian or something. Sure, oh, very she? handsome dad. Yeah. Mm. Often. Yeah, I love her. Yeah, I like. I her. love the video. She had that gorge video with the gorge boy in it. Did you see her on the Graham Norton show? She had the most beautiful dress I've ever seen in my life. It oh yes, like, the two backing singers. And it was like, and when she moved her arms, it came up like Lametta. It was so. Mm. Mm. She's good. Right, I might give um, Yvette, um, Eve a little chat now. Is okay. that all right? This Constant. is a bit of a isn't it? So See I'll you later. In a minute. And that's yeah. well, the wonderful Eve Ferret. <laughs> when you said Yvette, hey. I thought, Yvette the oh, blinking cock I've known Yvette forever, but you did make me laugh when you said Yvette. Hello, oh, no, Sue. I spoke to Yvette the Conqueror today, so that's why it was in my Oh, head. did you? That's what made you say it. Oh, I love you. If you're there, Yvette, hello, darling. I've known you in the corner. How are you? How are you? I'm, I'm really good. And as you can see, I do do Christmas. I can tell. You're a Christmas person. And um, I thought I'd have a little set. You can't quite see this. This is my little tree, old 30s deco tree. Can you see the bottom? But yes. on it is um, 1960s Japanese poodles oh, with a father on the top. Do you and love you them? Love and your lovely things behind you. Yeah, I've got my bells. I've yeah. also got, um, I've got a little, little donkey, carry Mary on. A, I've got a little reindeer. And then I thought I'd share with everybody the fact um, that I have got this perfume bottle yeah. in the shape of a tree. Can you see it? Yeah, it's amazing. By Avon. <gasps> Do you, um, Do you know? But Christmas, they used to make soap on a rope in the shape of a foot. They did. I used to have the peach thing. But do you know there's something, it doesn't, it's not out all year. It comes out yeah. and I just love it. And it's by Avon, a little bit of a rip label. But isn't it fantastic? That's marvellous. I'd like one of them. <laughs> I, I'm supposed to find myself an Avon lady. Oh, like oh, Ian Johns. Oh, hello, darlings. Hello. I How saw are you? Ian Johns on Monday. Did you? Oh, no, I think they were both down there, weren't they? Yeah, before the um, hoo-ha. Luckily, they got that little visit in, so probably won't have one for a while. No. 
could be handy not with them of course because i love them but you know sometimes when you think when you have a bit of a mess of a flat and uh which i do um you think oh because i usually plan if somebody accidentally you know said oh can i use your loo or something like that i go yes of course and then as i open the door i go oh my god a fox has got in it's a nightmare <laughs> quick evacuate you know and i thought actually it's quite joyous you keep cracking up you oh, I'm cracking up. I'll just continue talking. Am I? Yeah. I'll just continue talking, and possibly the cracking up will um, be a blessing in disguise. Oh no! I could listen to you to talk all day, every day, forever. I love you, Sue. I love Les, and I love Julia so much, oh, and everyone. Now my phone's ringing. Um, Hi, someone who musically inspired you. Well, a lot of people musically inspired me. Um, it started off really with Frank Sinatra and Ella and everyone like that. And then it sort of like went to Billie Holiday in a very strange way. When I was 13, I read on the back of um, a Frank Sinatra album that he was inspired by Billie Holiday. I yeah. then listened to her. And when I put on the record, I thought, oh, my God, I've wrecked the record player. It's cracked. But it actually wasn't. It was her voice. I'd never heard anything quite so amazing and marvelous as her yeah and then uh, and then as it comes doris day i love doris day but then in modern things i mean i never i love Jimi hendrix i mean yeah. oh my god if he could come back now i'd go hello he's so sexual apparently he plays on the pier down here i know oh did he yeah. but all these kind of because when i used to play my frank sinatra records my brother was in next door playing you know, uh, Jimi Hendrix and all that stuff, or dun, dun, da, 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 And I just think, I don't like that music, but actually I really love it. And I love that bloke from the Foo Fighters. Notice your, <laughs> notice Dave I'm Grohl. Like, yeah, do you love him? I yeah. love him so much. I, I, I also fantasize about if he would, not that he would look at someone like me, but I fantasize about, no, no, I'm too old for him. But I fantasize like I'm on the other side of the room and I go, hello, hello, David. How are you? I think he's marvellous. Oh, and he's been through a lot of tragedy in his life. No, he has. Because he was My, in the bar. Les brought me a tear then. Um? Les nearly brought a tear out of me when he was talking oh, about his dad. I know. Oh. oh, Les. So you've lost your mum and dad now, haven't you? Let's bring the conversation down more. Yeah, to no, I have. And um, I, I have lost them both. And uh, I never put it on social media or anything, even though I'm discussing it now, because I've, I I didn't know, I didn't want people to have the emotion for me. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And so I, I didn't. And then when people were saying, oh, you know, how's your mum, how's your dad? And that was a, a kind of a thing. But they are with me now. Like the other day when somebody let me down with this silver paint that I wanted to paint my kitchen ceiling. Yeah. Um, when he, he said, because he promised it would be in. And when I um, phoned him up, he said, oh, no, we're not going to get it now before Christmas. My first thoughts were my dad, who had all these, all these kind of uh, sayings. And my dad would have said, he's ballsed me up. <laughs> yeah. And then the other day I was driving past this woman on a bike and she was going really slow. And I looked at her, I was driving. And as I looked at her, I thought, Christ, she's like a fart in a trance, which is exactly what my dad would have said. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And so they, they're kind of with you all the time. Oh, and my, yeah. my, um, I was talking about my nan, um, not my nan, my partner, um, lover's nan. And yeah. she said, Couple of, well, a few Christmases ago now, she's not with us, but she came into our flat and she went, oh, she's Irish, she went, and I can't do an Irish accent, but she went, oh, Eve, if I'd known you were in such a state, I would have come round and helped you clean up like that. And it was the cleanest you've ever seen it. I made it immaculate for her. This is the same woman who said to me, what, uh, again, around Christmas time, which brings a tear. She said, Eve, there was this woman down the road Huge, huge, even bigger than you. <laughs> I have to say, you're looking very slim. Oh, um, have you lost weight? Well, you look. I, I have, but I have to um, confess with you what something that happened to me. So I lost a bit of weight, and then about a few days ago, I went on the scales because I've hidden them under a shell. 
as you do. Yeah. And I went and went, it's a disaster. I've put on a stone in a day. It's a nightmare. I mean, I haven't been on them for a couple of weeks. I went, it's a disaster. I mean, it sent me into apoplexy. Yeah. Then I was charging around. Three days I suffered this. I put on a stone. Anyway, yeah. um, my son, I do have a son, came down and she said, and he came and moved the scales and he said, what, what are you like? He said, you've got it set on the wrong thing. And I said, what do you mean? He said, you've got it, you've put it a stone more. It's on one, not zero. And I went, I've lost a stone. It's a miracle. I lost a stone in a sentence. <laughs> no, I do I look trim? Yeah, you do. Your face looks very slim. Yeah. Well, the, what else have you got? The thing is that, um, I don't know. I don't know. I've been up and down like a bride's nightgown all my life. Yeah. So, you know, you, next time you see me, I might be bigger. Don't say anything. Yeah, okay. Oh, David Daniel Wilk, what telly do you enjoy? Me? Ooh. Well, I like... Um, I like all the old movies, obviously, um, but I also like things like Gogglebox. That oh, I love Because you don't have to watch the telly because you see... No, you the don't. Like that. Exactly. And it's it's a brilliant catch-up, although they had Misery on the on the other night, yeah. and I've never That's seen funny. it. And when he, she got the hammer, I started screaming as if I'd been watching it for blinking three hours. I've only seen one clip for five I, seconds. I don't like it. Um, I, I quite like... Um, uh not not having the telly on too much i've i've watched uh, oh, i watched the um what's the chess bird you know the bird uh it's queen's Gambit. Gambit. oh that was really good wasn't it i loved that i loved oh, everything love the songs i oh, did you yeah I love no that. i like the songs i like the sets very I like good. Clothes. very you uh... at the moment i can't stop watching below deck it's like an illness and it's really terrible and depressing I just watch it all the time, but it's almost over. It's a reality <laughs> show set on the, the de uh, below decks of a luxury yacht. <laughs> oh, it's have you ever seen that one where they get married in a? They get they they say they're gonna they meet them and then they get married and that's the first time they've seen them. No, I saw it once, but I don't like that kind of thing. Well, I'm sort of like fascinated because yeah. they quite often they go. Oh, you know, I've been with the same person for 39 years. I haven't got married. What's the I, obsession with getting married? I know. Why are people desperate to be married? I can't understand it. Um, I always, just get married to a stranger for the sake of getting married. It's a bit weird. Weird. Right. So what are you doing with Christmas? You with your lover and your son? Yes, I'm with, I am. And um, uh, my, um, my sister lives down in the basement. Oh, I remember so that, yeah. Seen, yeah, but we don't see each other really at this time because there's um, a, ch a children scenario going on. Not children, but because they're the, like um, apparently the carriers, as it were. Oh, so yeah. it's all like, ooh, I don't do that with them. I'm always chat chatting to them like in the old days out the window. Do you, oh. know like the old, do you know like in the old days when you used to, well, people used to lower a little bit of a, a, a sweets out in a bag? Do you know yeah. what I mean? I'm like the old woman upstairs that they sort of go there. She's, oh, how lovely. Well, they finished school now, so it's a bit it's a bit easier. Just wait a couple of days. But, the, you know, it was going through all their classes. They're not very old, but all yeah. of their classes were, you know, they're eight and, and five, but every, there was always someone in their class that had it, so it made it all a bit more spooky. Yeah. But oh. anyway... No, I'm going to be here, and then obviously I've got, I've got. There's no lettuces to eat, according to the news today. I did laugh. That's a worry. No, that's what I said. I said, who's interested in lettuces? Did you hear about it, Sue? No, I did. I saw broccoli is a problem. <laughs> I quite like broccoli, so I might be upset at that. I've got yeah, a bag no, of some peas in the freezer. I'll be all right. Mind you, I saw that you were you you put this thing on Facebook where you went or one of uh, one of the things where you went I'm really upset I'm so sad and I thought oh my god Sue you never start a sentence off like that and you went they've delivered the wrong diet cokes <laughs> it was the diet cokes or the diet pepsis and I thought the diet Pe what is that I woman coke, on coke max no diet no diet something like that coke max or something I didn't want that but luckily, oh, have you got any secret crushes? Well, you've already told us one. Secret crushes. 
besides Dave Grohl? I have a lot. <laughs> who, who, who? No, see, what, alive or dead? Doesn't matter. I used to, you know, I told you before that I used to put makeup on to see in, when Clark Gable was coming on the telly. Yeah. <laughs> just in case he could see me, because obviously this was in the decade. No, but yeah. this was that long time ago before kind of thing. But um, no, secret crushes. Who would I, who would I go all funny over? Oh, no, I can't tell you in case you know I feel all funny. I'm not I saying that. You might, though, Sue. Well, they're alive. Might. There's someone sort of alive. I tell you who I, I have a crush on, and he knows it, is David Hoyle. And I've told him this. Do you know David Hoyle? I do know There's David There's something, Hoyle. he's very sexual when he's on stage. There's something about him. I've said it to him. I said, oh, I come over all womanly when I see you, David. And I know he's got all the makeup on. I know yeah. he's not, you know, but he's so lovely to me as well. Yeah. Oh, he's very nice to me because he played down it, here as well. Did it? I love him. Oh, that's I've weird. Got, I've got a crush on Timothée Chalamet. Who's Timothée Chalamet? He's about 18. No, he's probably about 22. Must weigh probably four stone. He's so thin. <laughs> but there's something about him I really like him. He's very similar to Harry Styles, who I love as well. And they both, I think they know each other and they do impressions of each other. Mm. So I don't really fancy them. I just like... Oh, I love Daniel's que David's questions. Dream someone... Real TV, three courses. Oh my God. I'd like, um, oh, uh, I'll go backwards. Um, I'll have um, creme brulee. Yes. Yeah. And then the main course, I'll have um, something that, I, you know, some sort of like uh, posh posh fish kind of things you know yeah. some sort of like shellfish uh, uh, affair and yeah. to start off with I'll have a bit of pate very nice who would cook it oh I don't know nobody I know yeah. no my lots of my friends actually are brilliant cooks you know when you go and then oh I remember once when I first started when I first started cooking, first of all, the bloke down the road who's got a store, I said, could I have half a pound of potatoes, please? And yeah. this is a one. And he said, half a pound of potatoes? I've never sold half a pound in my life. I'm not selling them now. I said, all right, well, give me how many you think. Anyway, I said, yeah. but, um, I just had a couple of pots. So it was peas in, peas out in the oven. Peas in, yeah. peas out in the oven. Anyway, everyone waited for so long. It was half past 10, quarter to 11 before I served the first thing. And then they all had to leave to get the last train home. Because, you know, it all, all happened. And I went, and I looked at, I remember looking out the window and I hadn't served everything. And I went, the party's over. It's time to call it a day. And I thought, oh, so sad. But anyway, I've had, I've had, oh, and another time, <laughs> my friends were in the, um, Peter and Francis, they were in the, um, in the front room. And all of a sudden this explosion went bang like that. And I went into the kitchen and all they heard was my voice go, oh no, my kitchen's fucked. <laughs> Sorry to swear. But what had happened was I didn't put the rubber in the right place on the cafetiere thing. You know that? Yeah silver thing i didn't put yeah. it in there so it then then when it boiled it just exploded and it pebble dashed the whole of my kitchen if i'd have been in there i would have had little burn marks everywhere oh no and it went out into the hall that was another good time that was a good laugh i well anyway i'm sharing you with you've only you. got about 15 minutes left so i'm gonna get the other two back and i'll go ask yeah. them their favorite meal as well so yeah. dad can you bring everyone together i boss hello Hello. Hello. Oh, with this thing on. Eve, you were fantastic. Eve, you were joy to watch. Thank you. Now, That's let's get me up, Eve. Can you tell me your favourite three-course meal? Oh. <laughs> What's your favourite three-course meal? Are you talking to Sue? Who is Me? Yeah, Les. What's your, oh. your favourite? Anything, as I told you before, anything Jamaican girl. I'm sorry, I'm a real Jamaican. I just love those tastes. Akin salt fish, fried dumpling, green banana, yam, yum, stewed chicken, 
coconut rice. The, I love it all with a bit of macaroni cheese. Oh, Just as well, I'm not saying. I know, it's, I mean, I know, but you know, it's not really what it really. Rob, um, Julia. I love it. Julia, can you hear me? Yeah. What will be your favourite three course meal? Um, well, I'm vegan. So I know. Um, I've, I've tried to be as vegan as possible. And so for the last four years, I've sustained that kind of eating, way of eating. So yeah. uh, what would I like? Well, I do like macaroni cheese, actually. And you can get really good. You can't eat anything. I just I don't do like, like it. I don't know why. I do like it. It's delicious. I'm, I'm a bit of a carbohydrate addict, actually. So um, I try to not have too much carbohydrates. And I am a great fan of a potato. And I'll probably oh. have <laughs> like a three-course <laughs> meal have. made out of potatoes. <laughs> That's my weakest now, carbohydrate. You three want to ask each other questions because you haven't seen each other for a oh, while. True. Hi, everyone. Hi. Les, I've got yes. a question for you. I'm yes. a real great fan of Isa May of French. I love her so much. Oh, she's fierce, isn't she, Julia? Oh, God, yeah. And Lovely. That's who was just working about. a totally different yeah. field. That, mm, she's brilliant. Yeah, she's really her. brilliant. Yeah. And Eve, oh. I really like your three course meal. That's a real classic. I wish I could have <laughs> that. Oh, thank you, Julia. <laughs> yeah. I, I love Eve. I, I love spread... Eve's little stint. I love that you got you had me cracking up, Eve. Oh. Let me laugh. You cheered me up so much, girl. Really. Yeah. I think she should be a national tonic, a national treasure. It's fantastic. <laughs> no, really. You made me laugh so much. You should have your yeah. own show, girl of your house and where you live and your sister downstairs it's so heartwarming because it's outside yeah. the wall but you know the thing is with julia and les julia i've known long the longest since the well it doesn't really matter how long it's the war <laughs> since the war <laughs> the mid 70s and shit and julia and les have never changed from the first moment i ever <clears throat> And, you know, and we could not see each other for years or months or whatever. And as soon as we meet into each other, it's like we never ever. Yeah, exactly. And that's that is, And yeah. that's what I think is fantastic about the weird, not it's not weird, but the wonderful um, gang of people, like-minded, that we fell upon all those decades ago, that we still resonate with, we're still happy with. That is our our... Uh, you know, I, I, I wish that everybody could find such wonderful people. Because this morning, do you remember this morning? I phoned Sue on on the link on Messenger, <laughs> but I had it off. And I didn't want to see me, so I, I didn't realise I was phoning Julia and, and Les at the same time. And all of a sudden, I went, "Oh, Sue, how do I do the link? It's not what." And then all of a sudden, Les went, "I can't see you. I can't see." <laughs> I can't see you, and it must have driven Julia mad because she said, "Oh, I'm going. 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 Any questions coming in? No. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm so lazy. I can't. But I've done a little bit of work in bed. You know, I'm not entirely lying there watching below decks when I'm in there. I am. Oh, oh yeah. What have you been up to? Um? What have you been up to, Sue? You're below deck. You're below deck. Sorry. I love it. Um. Oh, that's, I was very thrilled because I had a little art auction. Someone asked me to do fashion illustration. I've never really done. And that auction was yesterday, so I sold a few. So that was exciting. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's I was thrilled with that. Yeah, oh, yeah. That oh, see, Daniel's a marvellous with a question. Right. If you could travel in a time machine back in time to the past oh, or visit a specific person, what would you do or who would you choose to go? Oh, I can't think. <laughs> So many people, I can't think. 
I'd like to go to back in the day. You know when there were country wenches, and they had, they wow. were country. Medieval days, I think, and there was like wenches who lived on the farm and went around. Oh no, the smell. I'd like to fast forward to six months' time. We're all out. We've all been vaccinated. We're all happy. We're swinging around each other's necks, getting really pissed at one of Julia's fantastic soirees somewhere. <laughs> then I might be carried out because I never have been carried out. But I love the idea of it that I am so drunk that I am carried out of the club and I go, I've made it. Maria. <laughs> That would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Oh. It will be. It will be. Over. I know. What about you, Julia? What would you like well, to do? Well, I really like Eve's optimism. I must yeah, say. I so I'm yes. Going, I'm going for that option. I'm going to time travel into the future. Yeah, I know you're a person. You love to keep up with the modern times. You don't like living in the past, do you? <laughs> no, but if I was going to go into the past, I was, I was sort of, I was thinking about a sort of like, a, a time of ha a Hammer House horror. Oh, yeah. Oh, Hammer House of Horror. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> 70s. Yeah, well, sort of 70s. Oh, you could be the... Um, 16th century. Be like, like for Nether Fielding. Yeah. Carry on screaming. That's a good well, one. Yeah. My dad, at his funeral party, we well, don't know whatever he's called, Wake, at the place where they used to make the Hammer House of Horror films... Bray Studios. Bray yeah. Studios. Yeah, yeah. this was in Windsor, but it was nearby, so they used to, you know, go there. Oh, okay. Eve, yeah. have you ever been in a Hammer House of Horror film? Every morning. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Every morning I wake up and say, yeah. no, I have. I've been um, killed. I was in, uh, chucked in a barrel. I was in a, um, was it Nightmare in London? What was it a werewolf in London? Oh, American, American Werewolf in London. Exactly, I was in that. Where and was, was that? Oh, gosh. That was, that was like about eight, in the 80s somewhere. I've got a picture of me in a barrel. I was in um, Billy the Kid and the Green Bay's Vampire, which is a modern kind of thing, and I had these fang teeth. And um, I don't know, I don't, and Haunted, I was in Haunted Honeymoon, which wasn't really a horror, but it was sort of like, you know, Gene Wilder and that. So that was sort of like a... I suppose that they say, oh, we'll put a green light on her. <laughs> All these starring roles. I know, you've got a marvellous film career. Oh, I have to tell you, I've got this thing coming out on film, um, Channel 5, and they ask me, you know, where you have to answer questions. You know, they say, what do you think of that? You know, this programme, I don't know what it is. They said, what do you think of that? And it's all disasters, they were. And I said it to a friend, and she and I went, "Oh, well, I've been asked to be on this uh, Channel Five pro." And she said, "Channel 5? I said, and she went, "You?" Uh -oh. And I went, "Yeah." But you know, like when people's faces, they, you know, they got the lemon lips. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. What, what have you ever done for anybody to be on Channel Five after all these years? Who's interested in your bloody opinion? Is that, is that I don't know what you long? Huh? Who was that that said that? Oh no, it was just uh, it was uh, somebody I know. When oh, they said, "What are you doing?" I said, "I've just done this recording," and they said, "You." Yeah, I love it though, but that's my kind of weird sense of humor because I like I like people <laughs> saying that. So do I. Do you? No, I love it because if we come if, as Londoners or in, in working times. Your parents, the worst thing you can be is to brag. You, you know, to brag, you're like the lowest of the low. So if you say something, oh, I've got this or something like that, your parents, well, my mum. Right, yeah, them, mine too. Who cares about you? Who's looking at you? <laughs> you know, what? You like a conversation where it keeps you down, squashed. Mm -hmm. squashed. Mm -hmm. You know, like that. So it's really that like, when I sort of like say to somebody who's supposed to be a friend, I've got this thing on yeah. five, and they oh, go, yeah. you think, oh, here we go. Blanket, blinking parents are back. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, my parents have always been very supportive of Encourage like everyone. Yeah, no, we should encourage everyone because, you know, especially we've got to look after everybody because this is going to be really tough and it's going to put people against people and it mustn't. We've got to come together. We can get through this. 
we can. It will take a little while, but we will get through it. And if they, if we get, we get vaccinated and everything, and then, you know, because the young people then will be able to go out because we'll be okay. I oh, know. Oh, I wondered, Eve, I know it's a bit of a cheat to this. Would you be able to sing us a Christmas song to make us feel a bit more cheery? Oh, yes. What would, would you, oh my God. Um, how marvellous you are, you can just turn your tune to anything. Well, this is a slight sound, just do Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay. From now on, our troubles will be far away. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Da 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 da. Fra da 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 da. So have yourselves a merry little Christmas now. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. And the dusty road. Do you remember that? I was a tree in the nativity. What was you in the nativity? And then was ring out those bells tonight. Listen, I want to wish everyone a really wonderful Christmas. Thank and you, my love. We are going to have a happy new year. I don't care what happens. Even if we have to all phone each other and go, what's going on? I mean, I'm going, I'm going on a visit. In a minute, I'm going to visit the kitchen. Then I'm going to visit the hall. My <laughs> kitchen is hall. I'm going to visit the hall. I'm going to look in the bedroom and go, nah, that's it. And I might look out the window to see. Everyone's got to look for this comets these um planets that have arrived have you heard it's gonna it's the big we're in the age of aquarius that just about to all the drama i know the is it the age of aquarius Judy? yes yes when the moon is in the center <laughs> and the was lined with mars oh. we'll be among the planets and love will fill the stars. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Age of Aquarius. Has anybody got any pictures yet? Is it? Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh there's glasses on. Love it. All ahead, fuck. Oh, my God. Go, oh, God. Who's this? Despo talking. Gorge. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm very happy with that. You're always gorgeous. Oh, look at Liz. <laughs> oh, 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 They'll take a bit longer to send in. Um, oh, thank you, Jennifer Corker. You're welcome, Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. Oh, they're all laughed. Oh, thank you. Oh, I love their name. Parinor. Parinor. Con oh, oh, God. Hi, Parinor. Oh. Now, so all I can do. Uh, let me just tell everyone I've got if you want to hear more of this and crackles and that I've got a quiz tomorrow night half past seven a festive Christmas quiz same time so that's on tomorrow and then I don't know what's happening after that <laughs> then I finish work till next year it's Christmas look at our faces Oh, uh, it's the best as well, food. To me every day. Oh, Susan, it's a funny old world. <laughs> Just, I don't quite know why, but it is. Oh, bless her. It is. Um... I know. Oh, that was so lovely. I could sit and talk to you all all day. Sorry about the sound and all that hoo-ha, but it all worked out in the end, didn't it? So yes. thank you ever so much, Dan. In the thank you. Lovely to see you. Lovely oh, to see you, Julia. Lovely to see you. 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 Lovely
fun. Yeah. Well, all the British generals Bye. died. But they're in a gallery in Hastings, but I've realised it would have shut now. Well, wow. you know the sisters, Jennifer's exhibiting a embroidery she's done of the people on this. Oh, yeah. But unfortunately, it must have shut because of you know the rules. Oh, yeah. Mm. I loved your Christmas cards as well, Sue. They were fabulous. Oh, oh yeah, thanks, Sue. Oh, yeah, thank you, darling. I never sent Eve one, so I don't know her address. Oh, no, but I, no, but I loved the online ones. I thought it was fabulous. Oh, good. Oh, Namraj lives round the corner to me. But he's not really, he's still, I can't remember his. Oh, it's lovely David Taylor was there. I'm thrilled. Yeah, oh, God. David. David. I know. Ah, oh, so all I can say is thank you very much indeed. Have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. And everyone else have a wonderful Christmas. You just have to make your own fun. Yes. So yeah. what if they've run out of broccoli and lettuce? You can <laughs> improvise. Oh, Happy Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> I'm going to oh, eat something while I'm starving. Thank you, Julia, you, you like a Klimt painting at the moment. Sorry? You look like a Klimt painting with your gold shiny. Yes. <laughs> I'll try to create yeah. that But we I'll all create to say goodbye to everyone. I love that. I look forward to seeing the pictures if they arrive. Oh. Judy, oh, what are we doing now then? Brave. We're waiting for them to turn.